Hi Stamping Friends, this is Carrie here. I'm here to share with you a, a wonderful stitching technique I learned quite a few years ago called the Coptic Stitch. And it's a great stitch to uh, bind pieces of paper together to create a book that will last a lifetime. So let me get started showing you the supplies that you'll need to create this book. First thing you'll need is a bone folder. Nice bone folders uh, that create crisp folds are wonderful for this technique. You'll also need some general pieces of cardstock. The pages are folded. I'm using white cardstock, but you can use any color cardstock you want. Even pattern paper and wrapping paper and newspaper and any kind of paper you would like. Um, these measure, my book is going to be a little small, and it's going to measure uh, 7.5 by 5.5, and, and then you fold that in half, and you'll need 10 pieces. That's 5 sheets of 8.5 by 11 cardstock. Alright, you'll also need some chipboard, and I have two pieces of chipboard that measures 3 and 3 quarters by 5.5. To wrap your chipboard to make it look nice, you'll need some pattern paper. Any kind of paper uh, will do. The measurements of my book uh, pattern paper will be three and three quarters by five and a quarter, and you'll need two pieces. You'll also need, for the inside of the paper, of the cover and the back, a piece of paper to cover up the empty space that's revealed after you've folded the cardstock around the paper and wrapped it. So these pieces, these two pieces will go one on the front uh, inside and one on the back inside and they measure three and a half by five and a quarter and you'll need two of those. You'll also need just a little strip of paper and I've made it, this is just a little sh um, template. I like to have nice even holes punched in the edges of my, or in the grooves of my paper, in the folds I should say of my paper. And so I've punched these at three, uh, excuse me, one and a quarter inches apart and I'm using only three hole punch stitches for this one. I'm also using some cheap string because I do not have linen, uh, wax linen, and that works really really good but it is um, not always convenient for me to use. So I'm using just DMC floss number 3768, which works really, really good with this thread, or this book, because it's matching perfectly. I'm also using a long, long needle, and this needle actually came out of my um, Bind It All little awl uh, supply, um, the poking tool supply that is in there and you just take the cap off and they have some two little needles that are really nice size and sturdy and will do the trick. I also cut a length of approximately a yard of this um, DMC floss. Alright, so the first thing you're going to do is you are going to take your, oh did I mention you need some Yes Glue or you can use Tombow Mono Adhesive that I've used um, on this book today. Any kind of book binding glue will do, um, but I prefer PVC book glue, PMC I should say, and uh, Tombow Mono Glue. And so what you'll want to do is you'll want to glue that page with a brush to the card chipboard and then you're going to use your edge to just score it a little bit so it makes the edges in the wrapping nice and neat. Once you've scored it, you're going to fold the pieces around the edges up just to make it nice and um, flexible. I'm not gluing anything yet. Okay, the next thing you're going to do is you're going to fold the corners in. This is the first technique in wrapping paper so that you have nice straight edges around the corners. So I'm just folding it 
around the edges. I like to leave about a quarter of an inch around each edge so I can wrap it into the front of the book. The next thing I'm going to do is make sure I crease these with my bone folder and that'll just make a nice crisp edge around the corner. Alright, so now, now that you have that done, you're going to take this piece and I'm just going to glue right here and here. And I color with my glue and rub it in. So I just squeeze one little dot. You want to use a good amount of glue, but you don't want it to be so gluey that it squirts all over everywhere and makes a mess. All right, now you want to burnish the edges, and basically what that's doing is making it nice and crisp and straight. Very much like this binding was made for this book. And it is. All right, so there's the cover. And then on the inside, I'm going to take this piece of cardstock and just lay it on the inside. Take my bone folder and smush down the glue a bit. Alright, so that piece is done. Um, I'll be back in a second to uh, finish uh, the rest of the book. I'm going to do the second piece. Hi, so I'm back. Um, I finished both uh, front and back cover of my book. And now I'm going to move on to uh, marking the edges of the paper so that I can create my binding. I'm going to use my template Alright, I will edge it up against, uh, butt it up against the edge. Use a pencil. To mark it. There are my three spots that I want the holes to be in on my cover. And I'm going to put the holes on this side as well. But I'm not going to do that yet. The reason I don't want to do it now is because my holes could be off. So I'm going to take these two pieces, I'm going to use my crocodile, and I'm going to punch a hole in each one of these spots right here. So I'll be back so that you can see that test step.